Good morning, church. Good to be with you today. Today we want to talk about giving out of our poverty. We're going to be in Mark chapter 12. And sitting across from the temple treasury, he watched how the crowd dropped money into the treasury. Many rich people were putting in large sums. Then a poor widow came and dropped in two tiny coins worth very little. Summoning his disciples, he said to them, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others, for they all gave out of their surplus, but she, out of her poverty, has put in everything she had, all she had to live on. Jesus did not have a good word or, or an encouraging word to say for people who gave out of their surplus, but he had this praise for this woman who gave out of her poverty. And it made me want to stop and think and ponder, what does it mean for us as Christians to give out of our poverty rather than out of our surplus? And I think if we go back to when John sends out the 12 disciples, and he says, don't take anything. All you get is the clothes on your back and a walking stick. All they had was the gospel. And the only way they had to give it was out of their poverty. Everything that they had, God was going to supply. And so it is with John the Baptist. He had nothing. He had his camel skin garment. He ate locust and honey, uh, reminiscent of Elijah, who only had what God provided when he was hiding in the brook. The ravens would bring him bread, and he drank the water that, that came from the brook there till it dried up. All these people had to give is what God provided. And God is pleased when we take from his provision then and give that out to others. That is the abundant storehouse, the multiplying loaves and fishes that come not from our own effort, but from God's effort. And then, like this widow in our story here, when we lay it all on the line and say, Lord, it's all yours, I give you absolutely everything that I have. That's the Lord's praise. Um, we're trusting him. We're praising him with what he gave. And there's nothing left that if he doesn't provide back, then we're, we're toast. We don't have anything left. So that's the encouragement today. I would want you to pray and say, how, how can I give not from my abundance, but from my poverty to the Lord so that I am totally dependent on him.